What's going on everybody? David here from Blukers Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time it is on the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Wave 2 Pteranodon. Now before we get started I want to make an announcement real quick or a reminder should I say uh, that currently my 500 sub giveaway is ongoing until October the 28th and so that being said you got like one week left to to enter. So if you have not seen that video yet, I will leave a link in the description below to that way you can watch that video, follow all the instructions that I give in that video, and uh, we'll just go from there. Okay? So if you do that for me, please, I will greatly appreciate it. And so that way I don't have to spend so much time in this video giving all the instructions and so forth. So. Anyway, so yeah, just go ahead and check that out, and uh, like I said, I'll the description will be in the link below, or the link will be in the description below, or, or whatever. <laughs> whatever comes first, I guess. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get on with this review. So, right here we have the Legacy Collection Pteranodon, and don't know what Pteranodon from what film this is from. I know it's a repaint. Mm, but I don't think I ever recall any green ones. If there is, I must have missed it. Um, just comment down below let me know what film this is from. I would really like to know. Or if it's just a straight up repaint just, just to repaint it. I guess that's cool. Can't have too many of these, you know, for your collection. Because, you know, a lot, a lot of people like collecting these and hang from the ceiling. You know, to be a part of their collection. Which is cool. You know, got no problem with that. But anyways, um, yeah, you know the drill. We'll go ahead and crack this baby open and take a look at the packaging, take a look at the dinosaur, take some measurements, do some size comparisons, along with, you know, collection update. All right, and we'll wrap up the video after all that good stuff. All right, all right then. Okay, so right here we have the packaging in front of us and... Just like always, you know, this is the uh, Legacy Collection style packaging. And we have Rexy here on the left hand corner. And in the middle, we have the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo, which I feel should be Jurassic Park Legacy Collection logo. But, you know, hey, I'm not the marketing genius behind all this. But what do I know? But anyway, so we got the classic iconic Jurassic Park gate in the background. You know, very cool that they included that. And then in the backdrop behind that, we do have a bluish night sky along with the forest in the background and in the foreground too. And just like the fact that, that they are able to, you know, include everything in the packaging down here in the inside and on the sides as well. I think that's very cool of Mattel to, to do that because these days a lot of packaging don't do anything like that. They don't go above and beyond. So that is very cool. And then here at the bottom we have ages 3 and up. That's me. And we have Pteranodon or Pteranodon. You know, a lot of people, you know, they don't know that the P is silent. Useless facts, I know. But Pteranodon. So then we're here, and uh, we have the uh, arrow button, so that way you can play with the action feature if you want to, to test it out. And down here we have the action feature down here in demonstration. So here at the bottom we do have the copyright dates and information and all that good stuff. The Universal logo and the Mattel logo, and it says contains one dinosaur. And then here is the UPC code if you want to snap picture that thing. And that way you can ask your local target if they have it in stock. And then on the sides of the packaging, we have the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo. Along with the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo. And then on the back, we have on the top, we have the Jurassic World Facts app info right there. And then here on the left-hand corner, we got the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo. And then we have the prototype picture of the Pteranodon or a art rendering of it, give or take, however you want to look at it. 
It has Trinodon right there, and then it has the arrow pointing down to where you can press the mechanism on the back of it, and then it says winged attack. And then down here it says one dinosaur, contains one dinosaur. And then here at the bottom left hand corner we have all the dinosaurs that are in the Legacy Collection. Well not all of them, but most of them. So we have the Lost World Packy, Lost World Baby T-Rex, then we have the Jurassic Park Galley, then we have the Lost World <coughs> uh, Raptor. And then this will be the JP3 Raptor, and then we have the JP3 uh, Trinodon. So, there you go. So that takes care of the packaging. So let's go. Ugh. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dinosaur. Okay, so right here we have the Trinodon at hand, and so right off the bat, this does have some brightly colored to it. I think it's really cool. It stands out. It's not bland or boring at all, in my opinion. I just want to know what Pteranodon this is, or if this is just the actual straight-up repaint, or if this is from an actual movie. I just, just what I just want to know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I like the fact that it does have this lemon, or not lemon, but lemon. What am I thinking? lime colored green right here on its wings I do like the texture of the wings and everything I think it's very good and like the fact that uh, get the fingers down here I wish it well yeah I guess you can say it could be painted and then here are the feet down here below the feet are really rubbery feel you know this is a body the main body here is a hard plastic and this is kind of like a little bit softer plastic, just a little bit. But this, the feet, is kind of like a little bit rubbery plastic. So, I don't know how you make it to a hard plastic all the way down here to a little bit rubbery plastic. Even though it is the same plastic, it's just the fact that, you know, it's just a little bit rubbery at the end, should I say. So it looks like I got a little, uh, little paint speck right there. And uh, I guess you could make it... Like a birthmark, if you want. <laughs> but anyways, here at the bottom, we have the Jurassic World logo right here. And then here is the Fax app, if y'all want it. So, there you go. And then we have more of this, uh, more of a cream-colored texture. Oh, why, was, why was I rubbing its belly? But, <laughs> anyway, you got this cream-colored, uh bottom on the below stomach whatever cream colored <laughs> but here we have the skull I think is probably one of the best head sculpts in, in the business in my opinion so far uh, not to take away from anything that Kenner or Hasbro has done but this right here is probably one of the most accurate head sculpts in my opinion it does have that cream colored uh, paint job here on the crest and on its beak and neck. Uh, would be kind of cool if they would have continued some kind of pattern of that cream colored uh, here alongside the body, you know, in the main body and stuff. So I thought that would be really neat. Um, here, open its mouth. Here we go. So I like the fact that they did include all the paint here in the back, the, the tongue and up here. You didn't really necessarily have to paint the top of the jaw, in my opinion. But anyways, so here's all the teeth right here, the texturing. But we all know that Pteranodons do not have teeth. And if they do, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Because I haven't known that they have teeth. But, oh well, it is what it is. So, <clears throat> But here we don't. The eye is on par right there, like the little nostril right there. And over here we have the, excuse me for knocking out the camera, so I can't, maybe it's my lighting, but um, the eye looks good here. I, off camera you can see it, but here on camera I don't know why you can't. If you do, you can barely see that dot, but um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I really like this figure. I really like it. At first I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but <clears throat> I do have the other one. 
I like that just as much, but I think I like this one better. So let's go ahead and do some uh, measurements real quick, and then we'll do some size comparisons. All right, so here we got our trusty tape measure. And so from the tip and the tip, it is just a little over nine inches. Okay. And that's from wingspan to wingspan. So if you want to do uh, this way from the tip to the tip of the feet down here is just barely a little over five inches. So. So if you want to get real crazy with it, if you want to do the height, don't even think you can't even do that. I mean, we're not even going to bother the height difference. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, here is the action feature. I'm sorry. I, I should have done that before I did all these measurements. But um, but yeah, here is the button that you press for the action feature. And maybe, um, yeah, I'm not very good left-handed, so... Hell, I can't even do it right-handed. What am I talking about? So if you want to hold your dinosaur like this, and it might take away some of the wing flapping, I don't think there really is a right or wrong way to do it. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, is that working for y'all? So you typically got to press down all the way down if you really want to, if you really want a good flapping feature you know but um i don't have anything from jurassic world or, or not excuse me i don't have any pteranodons from jurassic park or lost world or jp3 for that matter uh, but i do have one from the hasbro line but that's for a different video <clears throat> so what we're going to do is here is the original jp3 pteranodon right here so as you can see that it's pretty much the same difference. I, I do have the Roarvors one, but we all know that it's like twice as big as this one. So I don't have it uh, out of the package yet. But uh, once I do review on that one, we will compare all of them together. So pretty much the same thing, just a straight repaint. And But I do have another one that has the similar feature. And if y'all remember Dino Riders that came out in 1987, so I do have the Dino Riders uh, Pteranodon, so we can get a good size comparison with these two. And as you can tell, that the Dino Riders one is a little bit bigger, and I, in my opinion, a lot better quality. So, uh, yeah, sorry, Mattel. I just got to go with my vintage one, man. It's vintage, man. They hold up well. Can't go wrong with them. So, yeah. And this one has a lot better. It's the same same mechanism, same thing, same uh, everything. So, but it's a little bit bigger and you can have a better grip on it. Here, you got to like press down although I do like this figure as far as the head sculpt goes but as far as play compatibility it's just a little little small and you just have to force it down some you know but if they had made this big like this one oh I man I, yeah I do this all day every day no problem but anyways but yeah so Let's go ahead and get this thing out the way, because we're not talking about that one. So, but let's go ahead and do some, hey, I think Alan Grant fell down. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and do some quick size comparisons real quick. I'm stupid. I already did the size comparisons. <laughs> well, I meant for, let's do a comparison with the humans. Or human. But anyways, duh. So here is Alan Grant. So, as you can tell, it's a pretty good size uh, a dinosaur compared to Alan Grant right here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. You know, it should be a little bit bigger, I think. I don't know too much about pterosaurs. 
And um, I don't know all the size difference and how big they should be, but uh, I'm guessing this can be play compatibility, compatible, compatibility, compatible, whatever we want to say it. But yeah, good size, I think, you know, no problem. And let's go ahead and do a collection update. Alright, sorry about the camera. You know, it's a little bitty tripod, you know, you gotta mess with it every now and then to get it to act right. But anyway, so, first off, to start off with the collection update, I do have the Legacy Collection Jeep, and I do have all three human figures except for Ian Malcolm, We're still on the hunt for him. And so, we have Alan Grant here, and we have Muldoon and Dr. Sadler there in the passenger seat. So, great set of figures, love these figures. Movie accurate for the most part, about 98% of the time. So, uh, highly recommend you pick all these figures up, you know, and, and the Jeep with the working winch. Because when I did a review, somebody had corrected me enough because I was pronouncing it wrong. So, winch. <laughs> I hope I said it right. But, uh, yeah, that's where I keep all their little weapons and accessories down here so I won't lose them, you know, so... Here's a Muldoon shotgun right there. Here's all the little weapons there. And there are all the little compies that they came with. So, yeah, I still got them. They're all still complete. Don't worry. You know, I always try to save all my stuff. You know, I try to for the most part. Probably wasn't that much success as a kid. But, you know, now as an adult, I like to have everything complete. And let's go ahead and move on to the dinosaurs. And as far as the dinosaur assortment line goes, we have the J.P. Galley Mimas, the Lost World Raptor, Lost World Patchy, Lost World Baby T-Rex, and we have the J.P. 3 Pteranodon. And finally, we do have the Lost World Tyrannosaurus Rex. And just want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch my video. Hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you all. And, you know, just comment down below what you think of uh, this Pteranodon. And if you know what movie this came from, please let me know. I'm dying to know. And more than likely it's probably just a straight up repaint. Just, just for sales. But anyways, aside from that, if you're new to the channel, please give this channel a sub. Like the video and, and hit the notification so you can see all my videos as I upload them. And don't forget to check out my 500 sub giveaway. Like I said, I will leave the link in the description below. You can check that out and follow all the rules and details for that. And where's the wisdom? Buy what you love, not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.